I got this Destroyer, Phil Collin, Def Leppard, Replica, Guitar, on AliExpress one year ago. Am I still happy with my purchase? Let's find out. This is my tribute guitar to the guitar that Phil Collin used in Def Leppard during the Pyromania days. You can see it in the videos for Photograph, Foolin', Rock of Ages, and a ton of live pictures from that same era. I always wanted this guitar, but I was just never able to get one of the originals back in the day. So thanks to AliExpress, I was able to have one custom made for me. The main difference between this and Phil's guitars is that it has a different bridge. It doesn't have the Kaler on it. It's just got sort of your standard like Les Paul type bridge. So it's got the three humbuckers. It's got the three-way toggle switch. Three knobs. I think when I first got it, I think it was two volumes and one tone. Or was it one volume and two tones? I don't remember because I modified it. It's 22 frets. The body is made of mahogany. It's pretty heavy. So it's really solid, good quality. Rosewood fretboard. The fretwork was really good. It is a neck through guitar, as you can see. It is safe to say that I was 100% satisfied when I received this guitar. So what did I change on it? Well, the main thing is I changed the pickups because normally when you order a guitar on AliExpress, they just put the cheapest possible pickups in the guitars, and they really don't sound that great. The pickups sounded okay, but I wanted to get something that was a little more to my liking, something that I thought would sound better. So I ordered three high output humbuckers from AliExpress. I had not tried them before. I read the reviews, it had some good reviews, and I decided, I'm gonna take a chance and hope that these pickups sound good. And guess what? They sound fantastic. I did change something though, guys. Now, when I first got the guitar, all three pickups were usable. Of course, toggle all the way down was the bridge pickup only. Toggle all the way up was the neck pickup only. And then in the middle position, I had thought that it would be the middle pickup only. I don't know why I thought that, but I just did. But in reality, I think it was the neck and the middle together. I decided to take a page out of the Phil Collin book, and I mean literally out of his book. I read his autobiography, and he said that when he had this guitar and when he played this guitar, quote, I never used the middle pickup. It was basically just there for looks. And I do think it looks awesome. I love the way it looks. So, guess what guys? This pickup in my guitar is not wired up. It is not connected in any way. If I knew how and I had the level of expertise and I was really good at soldering and if I, I knew how to do it basically, I would have soldered it so that the bottom position would be the bridge pickup, top position would be the neck pickup, and the middle would be the middle pickup. But I didn't know how to do that. And this was one of the first guitars that I did soldering on. So it really was not easy for me and it was kind of frustrating and then it was, I felt like I was performing like surgery basically and just ugh. So anyway, bottom line, middle pickup, not wired in. And I don't think I would ever use it anyway. So I don't even care. So it's in there, it looks cool. One thing though that I did mess up on guys, see the toggle switch here? Now, of course, I got the pickups in here, and the pickups have to be wired to the knobs, and then they have to connect to the toggle switch so that your toggle knows which pickup you're using. Well, guess what? I wired the pickups backwards. That's right, backwards. So when the toggle is in the down position, it's the neck pickup. When it's in the up position, it's the bridge pickup. And of course, in the middle, it's both pickups together. So it works just fine. Now I know what you're saying, I know what you're saying. Dude, that's an easy fix. You could have just, you know, pulled it out, twisted it around, and it would work fine. I had to run wire from the knobs 
through the little cavity there. There wasn't a lot of space. And again, because I'm not very experienced at it, I barely, I, I cut the wire and I barely had enough wire to reach the toggle switch. I mean, barely, like it's completely straight, taut, tight, whatever. And there's literally not enough extra wire in there for me to pull it out and turn it around. It, there's just not enough wire. I would have to put in a new piece of wire, which means I'd have to redo all the soldering. And I was just like, I don't want to go through that. Now, for somebody who's experienced, that was probably be something easy for them to do. But for me, forget it. So I am totally fine with the way it is. So if you ever see me playing it in some of my videos and the toggle's up and you're going, that doesn't sound like the bridge pickup. That's because I wired it backwards. So one year later, bottom line, am I still happy with my purchase? I think you've probably found out by now that I'm still pretty darn happy. In fact, I love this guitar. A lot of it is nostalgia, yes, because it looks like the guitar that Phil Collin played back in Def Leppard, my favorite band. And that's when I was first starting guitar. That was my first concert in 1983, Pyromania. He played this guitar during the concert. I mean, just everything about it, I love. But it's not just that, guys. It plays great. After I did the setup, adjusted the truss rod, lowered the action, polished the frets, it plays great. With my new Dauntless pickups in there, it sounds great. I mean, it's a great guitar. And the price that I paid, that's just the cherry on top. What a great deal, what a great guitar. Totally 100% satisfied. Now if you wanna hear how this guitar sounds, if you haven't already seen the video that I made for my cover of the guitar solo to Def Leppard's photograph, I used this guitar for all the guitar parts in that video. For the backing track, all the rhythm guitars that you hear recorded with this guitar. The solo completely recorded with this guitar. In fact, I'm going to put the video right here for you to watch it right now. Right, guys so that's pretty much it great guitar very satisfied if you haven't hit the subscribe button please hit it now because coming up soon I'm gonna have another video on my Aliexpress Les Paul and we're gonna see how has that guitar held up after one year see you next time